was that? Fun. <laughs> they had photo shoots and everything. It was a good old time. <laughs> All right, so today, so each Sunday, we just kind of go over a quick little lesson. And this one, I have so many options for. So, have you guys ever messed up? Done something you shouldn't have? You heard someone's feelings? Um, you acted out? Anything like that? Bad before? Yeah, I've done a few of those in, in my time. I know you have. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody at some point, I won't put him on the spot, but ask him about the time he didn't mow his lawn when he was supposed to, and his mom was awesome and did the coolest thing and took him off the, the soccer field, ask Libby about that. It was, <laughs> it was it's one of my favorite stories, but we'll save that for a later time. <laughs> so one time that I always, every Christmas, I still feel bad about, even though it's probably 20 years later, so one Christmas, I got the bright idea that I was going to prank my brother um, with a Christmas gift. So my brother's two years older than I am. And he loves Christmas, and he loved getting like big gifts. There was nothing cooler than if he got like a, a big gift. So I found the largest box I could possibly find. I don't know what came in it, but it was like this big. And I put a piece of bubble gum in it. That's it. And I, I played it up. Even when I put it under the tree, I brought it out like a week before Christmas. And I even walked like it was super heavy and I couldn't move it. And he was so excited all Christmas. He could not wait. And I made him wait until it was the last gift because he thought it would be the greatest thing in the world. And even when I passed it to him, I had to like bend down and scoot it over and try to make it real heavy. And he opened it up and it was a piece of bubble gum. In my mind, I thought that was the best prank in the world and I got him. Turns out, I really kind of hurt his feelings because he got so excited and he could not wait. And really, what happened is I let him down. So even though I was like, "Oh, it's no big deal. You can't be mad at me," it was just a prank, right? Really, that was me just not taking responsibility for hurting his feelings. So even now, every Christmas before he opens a gift, I have to tell him it's not a piece of bubble gum. So that's okay. <laughs> so do you guys know what the word responsibility means? It's a pretty big one. What do you think it means? What is it? Yes, responsibility. You know what it means? What is it? Tell me what you think it means. No wrong answers. You know what I mean? Go ahead and tell me. Yeah, it is a tough one to explain. So in this situation, it was instead of me saying, oh, it's funny, oh, it's just a prank. Is he saying, oh, I'm really sorry, I should have done that, right? So it's just taking responsibility and ownership of your actions instead of blaming it on something else. So even God knows that, though. So a lot of times we hear about confessing things we do wrong or repenting and asking for forgiveness. And God knows that we're, we're not perfect. He made us unperfect creatures, and that's free will and all this stuff. Um, so even though... Repentance is kind of a weird concept. It's, it's realizing what we did was wrong. So it's not just saying, God, take this, forgive me, and, and just to make everything okay. It's also the action of understanding, uh, I messed up. I need to take responsibility for that even here on earth, right? And asking for forgiveness. But good thing, God and my brother are very forgiving. And they forgive, and they go on, and they know we're not perfect all along the way, too. So we're going to have an awesome week. We're going to take responsibility for things we do or don't do, and then we're going to have an awesome time. Sound fair? Yeah. All right. Would any of you three like to say a prayer for the week? Anything else here? No praise then. Okay. That's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and pray for the week. God, we come to you today just so thankful um, for your forgiving heart and for instilling your children to have forgiving hearts and to be Christ-like with you. And thank you for the ability to be able to learn and grow and have patience and love. And we just ask that you guide us throughout this week to see opportunities to share grace and love to others and guide us in safety. And we just rejoice in you and continue to bless Aaron and